couple in the Bronx fighting back when a robber threatened them with a knife. Surveillance video shows the woman grab a broom and turn the tables on the robber. I would assume reporter Darla Miles caught up with the couple today. She's live in Cortona Park. Darla. Bill, Diana, when I caught up with this couple, they don't speak any English, but they also didn't describe to me what happened in Chinese, but you knew exactly what they were talking about. In fact, they believe that they may have been targeted because they own a nearby restaurant in the neighborhood. He's so waiting for there. He was waiting for him at the door? Yes. This 52-year-old father doesn't speak one word of English, but he clearly describes how a robber was sulking in a corner and jumped him from behind. The rest is caught on surveillance video, ending with his wife whacking at the suspect with a broom. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. That broom is still in the hallway of their Cortona Park apartment building near the intersection of East 175th and Cortona Avenue. Police say last Thursday night around 1130, the suspect threatened the couple with a large knife and then tried to force them into their apartment. So he grabbed him from behind. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he won the big guy won. He opened the uh, uh, apartment. He won the life. So he wanted him to open the apartment. Yes. Okay. And he didn't do that. The father begins to struggle to get away from the suspect, who is grabbing at his pocket for cash. His 49-year-old wife then springs in as backup, trying to knock the knife out of the suspect's hand with the broom handle. The Chinese immigrants not shy at all about fighting back to hold on to their hard-earned money. Their next-door neighbors are glad they did, worried it could have been them. He says before he knocked on their door, he knocked on ours. He knocked on our door, but my wife didn't answer because it was very late. So if you want to take another look at that video, it is on our website at abc7ny.com. And if you know anything about this incident, police are still trying to track down the suspect. You can call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-577-TIPS.